So Thor, you're back at the British Masters, yeah. uh, a year on from your win, uh, right after you signed with TaylorMade as well, right? Yeah, that's so right. Yeah. It was a great start to the, uh, great start <laughs> to the good, partnership yeah. and relationship yeah, for us. Definitely, definitely. Um, so we're going to go through a little bit about your bag set up today and then maybe uh, one or two key shots you might have on the course. Yeah. Uh, obviously, it's the Monday here at the British Masters, so we're just kind of getting into the week. Yeah. If there's any tweaks or anything we need to kind of uh, set up for you for the week ahead. So why don't we start off with the wedge setup here. So a yeah. little bit unusual for you. I say it's not particularly unusual, but you've got only carry two wedges. A lot of guys out here would carry three. Yeah. Uh, and then down to the pitching wedge. So yeah. leaves, I guess, what some would say a fairly big gap here between the 56 and pitching wedge, but yeah. obviously works well for you. So why don't yeah. you talk us about your wedge setup and maybe yeah, how definitely. far you hit each club. Yeah, so my love width says 60, but it's actually it's 59, and then my my uh, sandwich is a little bit stronger also, so it's 54. So that makes the gap a little bit smaller to my pitching width. Yeah. Um, so how far it, might you hit this one, and, and so what's the gap at, there? I work in meters, obviously. So yeah. this will the 54 will be 105 meters with a normal can get a little bit more out of it. And yeah. Then pitching width around 130 meters. Okay. Um, and also the same, you can get a bit more out and softer shots. Um, I like to only have three wedges, but just because then I have a, an next iron and I have, set the top yeah. end of the bag up. Yeah, five nicely. wood, three wood, and that's just what yeah. I've always been playing. And, I, and yeah. I like to hit different shots with my wedge, like take some spin off yeah. and create some more spin. So you're quite a um, tempo player, so you're quite comfortable kind of yeah, manipulating exactly. the distance on, yeah, the, on exactly, the wedges. Exactly, yeah. So yeah. Um, that's, that's like. Yeah, pretty much always been my setup. So yeah, because it's not it. really changed <laughs> since I've known you anyway. I no, mean, you've no. Obviously, even before you've played a lot of Taylor Made clubs, and yeah. your setups more or less have the same DNA, I guess, throughout. Pretty, pretty much. Yeah. One or two changes, which we'll yeah. come into. Yeah. But uh, yeah, why don't you give us a shot here with the yeah. 54? So it's the 56 yeah. bent to 54 degrees. Exactly. Yeah. Wind that spring to mind. Um. Well, obviously the finish I had was incredible with the two pots I hold on, yeah. on 17 and 18. Um, I think there's there's several key shots in this course. You have the you have the 10th hole, the drivable hole, where it's uh, how's your strategy risk there? Risk and reward. So I went for it a couple of times and I laid off a couple of times. So it was yeah. a little bit how I felt how I felt over the ball and the wind and, that, and everything. Yeah, exactly. And where the pin is on the green, where to miss it. So yeah. um, I laid it off the last round. Um, so yeah, I think that's one of them. I think 18, the tee shot on 18 is a yeah. tricky one. Um, a lot of water in play. Um, but I think on this course, there's several, there's a few on the front line as well, where, okay. you, um, where you're under pressure and you need to hit a, a, a really good tee shot. Um, so, uh, is it a course that you rely on the driver a lot or is it a bit more strategy with the, the kind of fairway woods and long irons? Yeah, I think this course, you, you can hit a lot of three wood, three wood, five wood. Okay. Um, obviously there's a few par fives where you want to hit a nice drive and give yourself a good chance to go for it too. But yeah. um, there's definitely several holes you can um, you can even hit irons off holes so, so yeah. it gives you a, it gives you a nice mix. I think this course. Good. Um, so I don't think we're going to be making any specific changes to the bag for this week because no. you know you're like we've talked about very well set up at the top end of the bag there for covering different distances and tee shots. But one setup I noticed you have made this year is obviously going to the, the combo set with the MB blades and the MC kind yeah. of mid and long irons. What was the, yeah. the reason behind that? So it's a little bit like the um, the spin numbers actually mainly. Yeah. Um, where I just felt I got a little bit more spin and a little bit easier to sort of be creative with the shots with the blade irons. Yeah. So yeah, that's why I changed in, um, I think, start of the year in general. And, yeah, uh, it's worked it out well. Yeah, it worked out really well as soon as I did the change, actually. I started yeah. playing really well, so. Um, you got your win in February, obviously. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. you know, new putter in the bag, new blade. So it was kind of good, good start to the, yeah, to exactly. the year. Yeah, exactly. Like you said, I changed the putter as well to um, start of the year and it's been, um, Got the it's TP. been pretty good, pretty, pretty good on me. Yeah, so. the TP Juno, just <laughs> yeah. with a little custom uh, metal insert there. Yeah. But uh, other than that, yeah. our uh, TP Juno putter, which is pretty cool. Yeah. So talk me through the uh, the, the kind of crossover here then, because a lot of people I know at retail, when they're talking about combo irons, are where to change the irons. So you change seven iron blade, six iron yeah. into the MC. So. Yeah. You don't, you don't have any trouble with the distance gapping there, did you? Did you? No, so so the reason why I changed is like, with them be you get a little bit easier hide on the shots. So yeah. that's why I changed from six, five, and four, just to 
Yeah, be able to hit it a little bit higher. A little higher, bit easier to uh, launch. A little bit easier yeah. to hit. A little bit more uh, stopping power. Exactly. Yeah. Um, which is nice with the long irons. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, it just makes it a little bit easier. And that's, that's the reason. So, Project X shafts, again, part of your DNA of your setup, yeah. I think. I don't think I've known you, uh, you play anything different there. So, no. six iron here, won't you give? How yeah. far would you expect a six iron to go? Six iron would be 180 meters. 180. Yeah. We've got the 793 iron, right? So yeah. is that a club you, you use a lot off the tee? Uh, yeah. Or is that mainly for to get no, it launching a little higher? No, I would say uh, I use it more off the tee. Obviously, you get to some par fives where it's like the, the perfect number for a three iron. But um, yeah, again, like there's a bit more help in this than there is in my yeah. six to four iron. I know and this was one area where we worked on quite a lot, wasn't yes. it? Just trying different options, yeah. different models, different shafts and everything. So Yeah, we tried a little bigger yeah. model, a little bit smaller. And, That's right. Um, yeah, it took a little bit of time, but now I've, I've, I've pretty been settled. Very, yeah, I've been very happy since we did this. So um, good. Yeah. And you've always had this three wood, five wood setup, and again shafts, same all the way through the the Mitsubishi Tenso shafts, which again you've played for a long time, I think now, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. So you've okay. got the the three iron, five wood, three wood setup. That's mm. that having that two wedge setup allows a little bit more yeah. up this end of the bag. Yeah. So let's talk about the driver. So how do you like the driver to sit up? Uh, 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 to set up and what's kind of important for you when you're when you're testing new drivers? Um, yeah, I mean there's different things. Obviously, the look is the first thing you you see how it sits. If it's you know a little bit short, square, or open, so that's that's one thing you want to settle to start with. And then obviously you you hit a few shots and see yeah. what it uh, what it does. Um, You've always kind of liked to see it sit as square as possible, right? Yeah, I don't like to see it sit sit open with my driver. I like yeah. to see it sit square to a little bit. It's okay, a little bit towed in for me. Yeah, um, a little bit towed in, if anything. I think yeah. when we're picking heads for you, I mean, yeah. that's what we're always considering is like, you know, there's, there's lots of different players out here. Everyone likes to see it yeah. sit a little different. You know, yeah. a lot of guys out here might like to see it a little open, but exactly, yours is yeah. one that's very much, you like to see it towed in and yeah. feel like you can create that little right to left shape. Is that right? Exactly, yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, I was um, going through the stealth too, was just uh, it helped me massively. It's a little bit flatter mm -hmm. than the old stuff, and that's, that's right. what um, what I really liked. And it's been uh, yeah, it's been a big change for me. That's been really really good. I think this year, um, I've, yeah. I've drove it a lot better. Solid than, numbers off yeah. the tee this year. Yeah. So, so you've got that that driver weight set up all the way in the draw. Is that is yeah. that just to help with the shaping? That is because I was I was my my main miss was a little bit right, and um, so I put uh, a bit more weight there, and it just helps me to. Uh, to keep it a little bit straight sometimes. So what's like <laughs> a key drive this week at the Belfry that you'll... Uh... Key drive. Um, obviously the, the, the last hole, like I 18, said before, yeah. the 18, you get there and if you, um, Especially if you type, when you're, for the, uh... type for the lead or you have yeah. a chance to win, it's a... It's good a time tough, to put a good swing on it. Yeah, it's a tough drive and you have to stand up and uh, commit fully to it and just... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, let's peg one up. Yeah. Fire one away with driver. A nice little falling uh, right to left shape that we yeah, talked that's about. Yeah, there's a nice little breeze here. A little helping right. breeze, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Perfect, well Thor, thanks for taking the time to talk through your bag and set yeah. up with us. Obviously, you just want to wish you all the best this week at the Belfry. Thank you so In the defence of yeah. your title, so yeah. all the best, mate. Thank you, I appreciate it. Have a great it. week. Thank you. Okay.